in physiology made easy and i will repeat only important points of action potential but for detailed description you have to go through my previous lecture lecture 5 in physiology made easy the term refractory in medicine means that condition is not changed by medicines so it is a chronic condition and it cannot be changed by simply but in physiology what you mean by refractive period the refractive period is a period of time during which excitable tissue is incapable of repeating a particular action or there it means there is a certain period of the action potential which is refractory or cannot produce another now here in no action potential we will find this is a resting membrane potential at the level of minus 70 millivolt threshold occur at minus 55 millivolt depolarization start at this point and the spike start from this point so here is a simple two ions they play very important role in action potential one is the sodium sodium ions they go in and <clears throat> another is potassium ions potassium ions go out so here there is only two simple ions they play very important role in action potential this resting membrane potential is more permeable for potassium ions depolarization phase permeable for sodium ions repolarization phase permeable for potassium ions so here you will find there are only two uh, ions they play important role and from this point to this point is the absolute refractive period or from this hyperpolarization point from this point to the actual resting membrane potential is the refractory relative refractive period now relative refractive period is the period where the response can get with the stimulus of higher strength than normal absolute refractive period means there is there's it become impossible to elicit the tissue because that inactivation of the inactivation gate of sodium ions they remain in the cardiac muscle you will find that there is a little bit difference there is a one more ion which come which play important role is the calcium so here you will find resting membrane potential that is depicted in green and the depolarization phase there is entry of the sodium ion now here it is not a simple thing you say you will find this resting membrane potential is due to the more permeability of the potassium ions and besides that there is entry of the sodium ions and entry of the calcium ions t tubule calcium ions here you will find once there is a little bit start of the depolarization then activation gate they become closed for sodium once they become closed totally at this point and opening of inactivation gate we will find little bit dip of the repolarization of first phase of the repolarization so this dip is due to the exit of the calcium uh, sorry exit of potassium ion and activation of sodium calcium exchangers so sodium calcium exchanger play important role over here and there is a exit of potassium ions so here in the sodium ion this a voltage gated sodium ions are gated are activated then in this phase phase 0 you will find activation gate is closed and inactivation gate is open 
at this point you will find inactivation gate continue to closed so if this is the electrical action potential and if we draw on the same baseline the mechanical response then we will find the absolute refractive period they falls depolarization which is very short in millisecond plateau which is longer in the cardiac muscle and the one third of repolarization phase which comes under the heading of absolute refractive period means the most of the contraction is most of the contraction is under cover of plateau and the muscle cannot be stimulated by the second stimulus relative refractive period here you will find it is start from the this point means only the one third of the refractive period refractory period or repolarization is responsible for relative refractive period so this is the hyper excitable tissue but we can stimulate this area by the second stimulus when we apply the second stimulus threshold or strength much more than the first one so here the mechanical response which which explains uh, that the most of the contraction phase is under the heading of under the plateau and first part of repolarization under resting condition when the voltage is minus 90 millivolt we will find it equilibrium is towards the potassium and by the electrical and concentration gradient favors the entry of sodium and calcium ions this is at the resting condition and whatever the instance now this because of this entry of the sodium and the calcium there is transmembrane potential is disturbed and there is however there is a very low permeability of the resting membrane for the sodium and calcium but you will find there is a change in the transmembrane potential so it will change from minus 90 millivolt to minus 80 millivolt now when it comes to the minus 80 millivolt then what will happen activation gate of the fast sodium channel is now closed but inactivation gate remain open so what will happen at the beginning of the plateau we will find that the inactivation of sodium gate but and second thing activation gate of the l type calcium channels is now open at this permit the inward movement of calcium ions are responsible for plate during repolarization what we will find the delayed activation of the calcium channels and delayed opening of potassium channels so delayed opening of potassium channels and delayed inactivation of the calcium channels during the repolarization phase responsible for down downfall of the potential potential in So whatever the uh, the reason of the plateau and the repolarization in the ventricular cardiac muscle, it is responsible for long refractory state. Because of the long refractory state, the muscle cell, cardiac muscle cell, preclude and not possible for submitted or tetanic contraction. So it cannot be tetanized. the condition is that the cardiac ventricular muscle is not is not possible for submitted or tetanic contraction 
but near the action near the end of the action potential the membrane is relatively refractory means it is relative refractive period come under the heading and here you will find that immediately after the action potential membrane is transiently hyper excitable and vulnerable or you can say supranormal so you will find that plateau is very good functionally for cardiac contractility so this is a very important function of contractile muscles of the heart again explain it in detail we will find both the channels are closed means sodium as well as potassium but during the depolarization phase what we will find sodium channels open and relatively as the proceed it then what we will find sodium channels closes gradually potassium channels open and sodium channels in the when it again resume the resting level the sodium channels resets and potassium channels remain open so this comes under relative refractive period or you can say after the hyperpolarization or absolute refractive period include that the depolarization phase and most of the depolarization phase up to hyperpolarization here you will find in cardiac muscle that the absolute refractive period include whole of the contraction and the part of the relaxation which come under the plateau and one third of the depolarization and the second relative refractive period comes under the depolarization phase now in terms of duration the refractive period of the cardiac muscle absolute refractive period is 0.25 to 0.30 seconds and additional relative refractive period is 0.05 seconds so during this period premature contraction can occur with the stronger stimuli the re the refractive period of the atria muscle is much less or much shorter than for the ventricle here it is only 0.15 seconds where the in um, ventricular muscles it is 0.3 or 0.35 seconds so this is the absolute refractive period and this is the relative refractive period so in this duration you will find the second stimulus can make an response so here there are two pictures this is the early premature contraction and after the full relaxation if the second stimulus fall then it is responsible for later premature contraction the early and the later premature contraction and the duration of the contraction in the cardiac muscle it occurs mainly in the including the plateau means it is mainly occur in the plateau stage and it is 0.2 seconds while in skeletal muscle action potential last for 2 to 4 millisecond mind it it is milliseconds and arp is roughly 1 2 3 means so if you like this then subscribe for the next that is the calcium ions in ecf and cardiac muscle contraction so this would be our lecture 7 in physiology made easy thanking you